Hello YouTube. What I'm going to be showing you today is how to upload the files that you have on your iDevice. It could either be an iPod, I, I mean iPod Touch, um, iPad, or iPhone. Um, my understanding it works on all iPhones. So, okay, let's just get to it. Um, I do recommend you download iFile and Sprite Downloader. The reason iFile is because that way you can browse the files that you actually do have on your iDevice. And the uh, Safari Downloader will, of course, you can download whatever you want, and then whatever. So, um, let's just start. We're going to download an application um, called iShare. You just go to your search, click on the search box, type in i, I'm sorry, iShare. And it's going to be this one right here. And instead of modify, it'll be install and that's it once you download this let's just go to the application itself so it's going to give you an icon like that <clears throat> and you do have to create an account but basically all you have to do is type in your email address verify your email address type in your password and verify password and then um, you'll create your own account. Um, before I go further, all the files that you actually do create a link link for are going to be on your My Account. All you have to do is click on Browse Files and stuff like that. Um, so let me just show you what this application actually does. I'm using my iPad right now just to verify. And uh, you can upload your pictures, your music, whenever you click on it, it takes you directly to your pictures or your music or other if you want to do an application or a, um, like me right there, the wallpaper, um, anything that you have on your phone, you can just compress it and send it, upload it, okay? So that's it. And um, let me just try music file. Well, just keep in mind that the longer, the larger the the file, the longer it's going to take. So, I don't have Julemo, uh, Never Think by Rob Patterson. Estimated time or length, whatever, it's 3.94 megabytes, so... With this one, you don't have to do anything. Um, you just click download. But, but let me show you what occurs when you do actually a regular normal file. Because um, it gives you so much more options. Mm, you can share with ringtones, wallpapers. Let me just do a wallpaper again. So Let's do the 101 underscore iPad. The reason I'm doing this one is because I already tried a, a, the second video I'm recording. I showed the third one, and um, <laughs> uh, some like it just didn't come out right. So, anyways, you, it gives you the option to name your file. Uh, you write a description. You could do it password protected. Um, email it directly. If not, you just click start. You just click start, and as you can see, it's already doing it right here. It gives you the mm, estimated. It does go pretty fast. If it's a large file, you could just uh, use background, leave it in the background and stuff like that. So once it's done, it provides you with a link right here. You just click on the link. It gives you the option to send by email or copy to clipboard, pasteboard. Sorry. Um, let me just copy to pasteboard and let me show you on Safari. So we go to Safari right on the top. See? And I'm just going to go ahead and paste it. And you just click go. This is what the people who get your link are going to see and how they're going to be able to get it. I know that on the iPad, if it's picture, it'll just open it up and you just um, save picture. If it's a file, you have um, um, Safari Downloader or iFile, well, you can pick wherever you want to. Or unless it's a, like a PDF file, then it'll, when they're downloading it, it'll give them the option whether they want to download it to... Um, iPages, Goodreader, and stuff like that. So then anyways, um, as you can see, that's 101 underscore iPad, whatever. We just click download, 
This one's gonna open it like right there. And I guess this is uh, the wallpaper I just shared. And let me just show you like if they wanna download it or something, they just leave it pressing as download image, a save image, whatever. If it's a file, it'll automatically pop out this before it even starts downloading. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm doing this video because I know a lot of you were messaging me regarding how to do this. I'm sorry that I haven't gotten into it sooner. It's just that I have, um, I'm like maybe a year away from graduating. I just need this year to finish and then I, I'll graduate. So I'm hitting it hardcore. So, but thank you guys very much. And, uh, that's it. So don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and y'all have a good day.